YouTuber is awesome. Anything I post, any video I put up, it has the opportunity to be seen by millions of people. But what happens when three of those people are creepsters? I'm in love with Taryn. We're like best friends. Oh my gosh. That happened. And while it's completely impossible to stay anonymous, if you try hard enough, you can say anonymous. If you're big on privacy, keep your info private. Some computers, like this Ultrabook, come with technology to allow you to lock down your information remotely when it's stolen. You don't want anyone with your information, especially weirdos. I'm okay with it. Go figure. Well, if you're trying to stay anonymous online and have a Facebook profile, good luck. Facebook's privacy settings change faster than this changes from tablet to laptop. Sites like ReclaimPrivacy.org help you track your Facebook settings and make sure you're not revealing anything. You know, revealing. But Taryn, why would you want to hide those Cancun 2009 photos from me, huh? Why? Huh? Why? Huh? Okay, seriously, why does this chick keep cutting into my videos? Stop it, editor! Lay sigh. Now the next step is the most important one, okay? Don't be stupid. I know it sounds easy, but it's not, okay? Studies prove that 90% of people are stupid. I read it on the internet. If you're using a browser, put it in stealth mode so that strangers and or the government can't see what you are buying on legal download sites. And if you're tweeting, Facebooking, Instagramming, and it asks you if you want to show your location, don't. Hanging out at home with Tiggy. Tweet. Hi. <laughs> oh gosh, someone call the police. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching, and don't even think about tracing this upload. I upload videos from a new location every single day. And mad props to Intel for giving me this super private Ultrabook convertible to play with. I have been a little lonely. <laughs> since Tiggy's been mad at me. Not that it's upsetting or anything, it's just best friend one day, not your best friend the next.